Hey guys, Marcus here with Black Elvis. We are in-house today with Drew from Sitka. He's here to tell us a, a little bit about this new Aerolite bag. Thanks for coming in, man. Yeah, hey, the Kelvin Aerolite bag is an awesome piece, but first, before we go into the bag itself, I wanna tell you about the new uh, Aerolite synth synthetic uh, insulation. So new for this year, we've teamed up with Primaloft and we have a long strand insulation material that's wrapped with Aerogel technology. Mm -hmm. And this new synthetic, um, Insulation is extremely lightweight, compressible, packable, and really, really warm. And so we've put this in the in the Kelvin Aerolite bag, and it's a it's not just a sleeping bag. So I want to go into that first and foremost that this bag is a versatile piece of equipment. So instead of just having a sleeping bag in your tent and it never leaves there, this is now a piece of gear that you can use in the field uh, for glassing and different types of, of hunt situations. Awesome. All right. So first off, the Kelvin Aerolite bag is in part a sleeping bag and I just want to go into to what it is. So it comes in two sizes. Um, the regular size is going to fit about a six foot person, mm -hmm. uh, six to six two. And then the second size, a, large, a, a larger size, is going to fit a person up to six seven. Um, the first question we always get asked on a sleeping bag is, you know, how cold can it take me down to? And when you have Sika gear, we want to think of everything as a Sika system, right? Mm -hmm. Skin to shell. How do we in, in, integrate this into our Sitka system? And the, the answer to your question on how much does it go down to, it's a, it's a 30 degree bag if you were just skin to bag. Okay. Um, but now everything with Sitka is all about layering, right? Yeah. So as we layer, we can take the, this bag from 30 degrees all the way down to zero degrees. Um, so it has a wide range of temperature use uh, in the field. So you can take this on a lot of different hunts. All right, Marcus, so now, it's not just a sleeping bag, right? Oh, it's, yeah. it's a piece of gear. So imagine yourself on a once in a lifetime sheep hunt. You're in your, you're in your tent, you're waking up and you always get cold, you know, when you get out of your bag, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm putting my clothes on inside the bag if I can. Yeah, you're, you're trying to. So Sitka has, has developed this so you can now have this as a functional piece of gear. So you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, so we have dual zippers on the sleeping bag. And we have uh, arm ports, you know, zippered arm ports, so you can stick your arms out of the bag in the morning. Mm -hmm. So um, those are right here. Right there. As well. Yep. The, the dual zipper, so you can run the zipper up. I can kick my feet out of the bag. Mm -hmm. I've, it's got a tab in here that I can hook up, so on, now I can stick my, my arms out, my feet are out, the bag is lifted up so it's not dragging on the ground. I put my hood on, and I can take my bag that is always just normally in the past stayed in your tent. Now I can get up. I can go make a cup of coffee, I can go get breakfast. If I'm on that once in a lifetime sheep hunt, I can go get in my stool. Uh, I've got my spotting scope set up and now I can sit there in my Aerolite bag, fully warm with my cup of coffee behind the glass, looking for that sheep of a lifetime. Um, and so now I have a versatile piece of equipment that I can, that I can take in and out of the, of the tent with me on my hunt. I think that's what's most intriguing about this to me is that it's, you can use it for so many different things now, and it's so light for the backpack hunter who's worried about ounces. Yep. I mean, this just takes one thing and turns it into many, yep. which is pretty awesome. So it's, it's right around two and a half pounds. And so on that hunt, if you don't want to take a big puffy jacket for that glassing scenario, mm -hmm. you have this instead. And, and this can go with you on day hikes, or it can just be used around camp, like I said, in and out of the tent uh, for, for glassing and looking for that animal of a lifetime. Awesome. Well, Drew, we're pretty excited. It's more than just a bag now. It's, it's a piece of gear. It's a piece of equipment that can be utilized in many different ways. So thanks for giving us a little rundown on yeah, it. Yeah, man. Glad to be here. Thanks. Yep.